Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Kroger breakfast burritos. This one is a sausage, egg, and cheese burrito. It says it has pork sausage, scrambled eggs, hot pepper, and American cheese, Monterey Jack cheese sauce, and jalapeno peppers. There are three burritos in the package made with real cheese. 13.4 ounces or 379 grams. That's for the whole box for all three burritos. They were all expensive to me, I think. Um, $8.49 for three burritos. It seems a little high, but we'll, we'll see what they're like. Uh, 390 calories per burrito, or you can eat the whole box for 1,160 if you want all three burritos. Lots of, look at all those ingredients. Dag, oh, that's a lot. That's a long ingredient list right there. So these are frozen, so just let you know. So cooking directions, um, only see microwave. So remove burrito from wrapper, place one burrito onto a microwave safe dish, cook on hot, so it doesn't say anything about covering it or wrapping it or anything like that. So just put it on a dish. Um, mine will be just a paper plate. Cook on high for one minute and 15 seconds, turn over, and then cook for another minute and then let it stand for a minute. And of course, microwave times vary. So, 115 and one. Let's see. Now they're in like just plastic wrappers. They're kind of fat, but they're kind of short. So I'm gonna take this one out of the package, uh, put it on a paper plate, get it in the microwave. I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave, and um, I did turn it over the one time, and then um, that's it. Usually they stick to the paper plate. That's not too bad. It did when I flipped it over the first time. It was kind of wet, so I, I had to kind of scoop it up on the bottom. So just be aware. You may have to do that. It leaked a little bit, and it looks like whatever leaked out of there, um, some eggs or cheese got a little scorched. So just that will happen too. So let's try to cut this in half. I don't know how successful I will be a really thick burrito. I mean, look how thick that is. That's what's inside. The bad thing is the ends are, I can feel them, they're a little, a little firm, a little dry. So I'm, I have a suspicion you won't be able to eat much of that on the end because it's really, really dry. Turn this around. I usually cut these into like pieces to where I can eat them a little easier. I'm going to try to eat that. I'm telling you what though, it's saw it in half. It's pretty tough. The ends of these burritos, um, if the timing is not perfect, they do tend to get a little um, hard on the ends. Like the ends will get very, very crispy and, and literally almost unedible. Inedible? Unedible? Can't eat them? Yeah, there you go. All right, so there we go. I'm going to let that cool off for just a minute and uh, then I'll try it out. Okay, I grabbed a fork just to make it a little easier to eat because it is kind of uh, seeping out of the sides. I usually do, um, I usually just pick them up with my fingers, but this one has kind of got a lot um, coming out of the tortilla. So here we go. It's still a little hot. Um, so this one's supposed to be sausage, egg, and cheese with some um, with some hot pepper cheese. I do get a little bit of spice in there. Um, actually, I think I taste more of the the hot the peppers than anything. Texture wise, I always like to talk about texture. The texture of the the filling is is okay. The sausage, I like the sausage because it's got a nice. Um, you know, firm, like chewy kind of texture, like like a lot of sausages do, especially like the breakfast sausage. So the sausage has a good chew to it. Um, and you can tell you're eating sausage. Yeah, really nice texture. The texture of the eggs and the cheese though, very mushy. Like it's a, it's a very soft, mushy kind of texture. Um, I guess it's kind of offset by the sausage being a little bit of the chewy texture, but it's, um, Overall, the texture is really kind of a soft, mushy texture. And the tortilla, at least the first one I had, the tortilla was really soft too. Let me try this one. Mm. That tortilla bite had a little bit more, um, it wasn't crunchy like hard, but it had a little bit more crunch to it. It had a little more texture. So that was better. So it just depends on which piece of tortilla you get. Like one side is wetter than the other side. Um, so the wetter side is a little softer, mushier texture the, for me. 
and the other side is a little more uh, crunchy and firm, so you get a little bit more texture to it. So, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm not saying it's mushy like it. <coughs> I'm not saying it's mushy like in a, we got a really bad way. It's not like it's a, like you're eating oatmeal or anything. It's not like that, but it is a softer texture. So just keep that in mind. The flavors though, I'm kind of disappointed in the sausage flavor a little bit because it's not really a really good sausage flavor. So when you eat um, breakfast sausage, like a slice of sausage, um, you know, you get those very specific sausage seasonings in there. And you don't really get that with this. This one, like I said, is more of a, a peppers flavor. Yeah, it's definitely like like pepper. I got like a red pepper or a, maybe it's a jalapeno because it does say it has jalapeno in there. It could be a little bit of that green jalapeno flavor. Let me try just a piece of sausage by itself. Sometimes when you try sausage by itself, you get more of the flavor. Yeah. So that tastes like your traditional breakfast sausage. I think what's happening is it's getting mixed in with all the other like the jalapenos and stuff and the sausage flavor is getting lost a little bit. The good thing is it does add texture, even though it doesn't have a lot of flavor, it does add texture to it. So overall, not too bad. And that was one of the crunchier sides, so it was a little uh, firmer. I wanna try one of the ends. I know this is gonna be, it's almost all like tortilla, but it's very, very, very firm. I mean, like almost crunchy hard. Let me try it. It's dried out quite a bit. The good thing is, it's very dry. <laughs> that end is very very dry because you don't eat a lot of the cheese or any of the eggs in the end um, The good thing about it is the tortilla is in like layers So you get almost like a it's almost like a crunchy pastry, you know with tortilla instead of pastry um, So it's not all just like a really hard dried out Crunch like like a hot pockets a perfect example if you eat a hot pocket if you don't get the temperature just right the ends of those hot pockets are almost you can't hardly eat them I mean, there's they're like bricks uh, this is not like that. This is more of a layered crunch than um, than that hard, solid brick. Now, they are dry. Very, very, very dry. So, um, I would probably, if it were me, um, eating another one of these, I would cut it up like I, just like I did. I would actually eat the, uh, the ends of the burrito first. That way that you're getting rid of that drier texture and flavor. Texture and not much flavor. And then eat the center part next. Eat, eat all the, the softer, uh, more filled up parts um, next after that. So overall, these aren't bad. Are they worth eight dollars? I don't think so. I don't think they're worth what were the eight, eight fifty almost eight forty nine. I don't think they're worth that much, especially for three of them. Um, you can get a whole bag of like regular burritos uh, for for you know ten bucks or something for ten or a dollar a piece or something like that. Um, I think those are better. They have more flavor. They're better texture. Are they breakfast burritos? Not necessarily. They may have breakfast burritos in those bags, but for the most part, they're just regular burritos. This one just doesn't have enough to offer as far as flavor um, to really make it a breakfast burrito. I don't get the egg flavor at all, hardly. Don't taste the cheese. I really don't taste the sausage. I really just taste more of the, the hot pepper cheese, I guess, and the jalapeno peppers. I think that's what I'm getting most of the flavor of, the, the peppers. Um, but you do get the sausage if you eat it by itself. So whatever, whatever you want to take away from this. I mean, you can get them if you want to. I'm gonna give them a three out of five. They're just an every average flavor for me. They're nothing special. Um, I think they're a little lacking in flavor, but I mean, it doesn't make them bad just because they don't taste like much. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give them a three out of five. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.